Hey, Holy Rockets. Okay, here's the deal. This is what I'm about to do. So I have been. Do, okay, first, let me take y'all to the bathroom. I want y'all to see how dry my hair is. Okay. Can y'all see how dry that is? Let me move in. Can y'all see that? Can you hear it? I mean, it is like so. I'm gonna try to get it. I don't even know how and why it's this dry, but it's really dry. So I have been looking up um, recipes on Kinky. I have to look it up, but I looked on um, somebody's page and they had something on there with um, avocado and mayo. And then I saw another recipe that had honey and coconut or coconut milk in it and i was like oh that look like it tastes good and look like it smell good so i'm on my way to kroger's to get some ingredients for my natural conditioner and i will um be right back bye oh snap amateurs all right y'all i'm back i am starting my um I don't know if you want to call this a tutorial or let me see if I can set this camera up. Y'all see how dry this is? Like, I don't know what type of hair you call this. A 4W? I don't know, honey. But anyway, I am. This is just in this bottle. I'm, it's just water in here. And I got this in here so I can get through this mess that you want to call hair. Because it is serious. And I'm sectioning it because it'll make it easier to um, distribute the conditioner. Alrighty, now that I am done and now that I look like um, Miss Seeley or somebody, I am about to um, get the mix going. And this is what I have. I have the mayo. I have pure honey. I have an avocado. Goya coconut milk and I don't know if you can see the ingredients yeah you can coconut milk is the main ingredient water potassium and all of the rest of that there the potassium whatever metabisulfite is a preservative and I have extra virgin olive oil I couldn't find any castor oil so Okay, I'm going to try to, um, well, I know they said to do, um, sorry about the hand, but I'm going to do, um, I'll just let you see how much I pour in there. So I think it was like some tablespoons or something, so I don't eat mayo for real, so it don't matter how much I use it. I mean, I was going to buy some more just for this, but I don't eat it like that. So, here we go. Looked pretty gross, didn't it? <laughs> so, that's how much I'm putting in there. You can see it. Can y'all see it? I can't even. That's terrible. Here we go. That's how much I'm putting in there. And then, get the honey. And I'm gonna do like two tablespoons. So 
They look like about two tablespoons. And then the extra virgin olive oil. Gotta get the top off. And I'm going to try and do two tablespoons of this as well. And I'm only using this because I didn't have any, I couldn't find any castor oil at Kroger's. And then they said to use the coconut milk. You shake it up a little bit. And use mm. now with the coconut milk I've heard different stories I've heard that you can use um, you can use a half a cup so I'm going to use this says half a cup I want to taste it Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pour a half a cup. Oh snap. Pouring a half a cup. Ooh. Got that in there. I'm going to taste it. that. I thought it was going to be how sweet. Mm -hmm. oh. And they say that you should cut it. Oh, I'm going to turn this so I can see what I'm doing. Cut it like so. And so you get rid of the nut. Then you scoop it, or you could just pull orange. Make sure you get all of the um, the hardness off of the avocado. Make sure you get all of the shell off. And then you just you know break it apart a little bit. Put it in the mixture. And I'm doing the whole avocado. Some people don't do the whole thing. But y'all see all of this hair. Second one. Okay, so I got all of my ingredients in here. And I am ready to mix. So this is how it looks here. And now we blend. Let's see how it is. I don't want no chunks and you know all of that. And it's pretty sure. Shall I taste it? Mmm. It tastes alright. <laughs> Grossness. It's very smooth. back in the bathroom and they say to make sure that you um, start at the roots and then go out to the end so here we go guys and y'all just see me detangle and you know all of that
I use this about the whole, well, the whole bowl. And uh, prayerfully, this makes a beautiful, great change in my hair.